Mihai's granddaughters liked to keep to themselves mostly. They were well behaved and possessed a sort of quiet elegance. From time to time, I'd catch myself looking at them, wondering what they were talking about. I'm sure everyone on the base did the same. They were such enthralling creatures. Every night, a crowd would gather around Mihai. They were the men tasked with guarding him in the air. Their jackets all bore the same patch, a relic from a nation that was long gone. Decades ago, during the Age of Expansion, the Kingdom of Erugia absorbed many countries. Theirs was one of them. Mihai asked them, Yet what is a nation? Can we actually see the physical lines that divide one from another? People of my generation can no longer speak the language of our homeland. My grandparents always look sad when they see I have no idea what they're saying to me. Mihai didn't say a word after that. His scarred face betrayed no emotion. He didn't get those scars from flying, though. Mihai was originally from Shilaji. His real name is Mihai Dimitru Margarita Cornelio Leopold Blanca Carol Aeon Ignatius Raphael Maria Nikitas A. Shilaji. When he was young, he was the heir to the Grand Duchy of Shilaji. Then, revolution broke out among his people. Mihai was betrayed by a close friend who pointed a gun at his face and pulled the trigger. The revolution was successful, but the new country that sprang from it was annexed by the expanding kingdom of Arusia. The Arusian royal family allowed Mihai's family to retain their title and noble standing in the new kingdom. But Mihai surprised them all by signing up for the draft like an ordinary Arusian citizen. He was then accepted into the Air Force Academy by order of the king. Mihai soon became an ace pilot when the royal family was ousted and Arugia became a republic, he continued his service for the new regime. Test sites soon flourished. One day, a classmate of Mihai's granddaughter visited. I noticed the rose emblem. She laughed like a princess. And I found out later, she was indeed the daughter of Arugia's new ruler. She was the connection to the royal bloodline everyone was looking for, the one to restore the monarchy. This new princess was truly a godsend for the Arugian people. If Mihai's granddaughters were like the moon, she was like the sun, around which everything seemed to orbit. Her face was so expressive, it's no wonder the people of this war-torn country instantly felt at ease when they saw her speeches. They started singing. The pilots of the support plane smiled, even though they wished their nation were independent from hers. Angelic. I wonder how Mihai felt about all of this. It was my job to research his neurological data, after all. I wish I could figure him out. Whatever his feelings were about losing his homeland, he kept hidden, even from me. Your mission is to atone for your crimes by attracting the enemy's attention. First, I want you to head from the base to the desert region of Roca Roja to the northwest. And then second, you will attack the large Arusian base there. We've been unable to verify that base's ability to deal with fighters. You will attack and provoke the enemy into revealing their AA strategy. Get them to fire at you as much as you can. That way, we can confirm where they're firing from. Then it's a case of sending in our regular force to clean them out. 
For this mission, we prepared a frontline base that can be used for ammo replenishment and aircraft repairs. However, this is not for you guys. Only the regular force has permission to use it. Even if you run out of ammo, don't forget that you're just decoys. You stay out there as targets for the enemy.
Got more company. Locked on target. Target team launching UAV. You've done a fair amount of work to their ground units. But I see some of you still have ammo. Continue with the attack. Keep yourself nice and exposed till I say otherwise. Trees destroyed all the trucks. This is Spare 11. Enemy base dead ahead. Damn it, we can't do this from the sky. We need ground troops. Spare 11, just do your job. Just give us a bomb big enough to blow the area. for someone who's used to killing presidents. Ex-presidents. So, what's the difference? Whatever, he's still got three sit lines. Bandit for the turtles. They're taking off from inside. Turtles? You've got to be kidding. Nicole. You should have destroyed the enemy facility while everyone else was sleeping. The anti-air guns are hit hard. Our air defense capabilities are compromised. Just grab whatever you can and return fire. The murderer's done it again! I'm gonna have to rethink the odds. Caution. Pull up. Locked on target. Pull up. Bandit sighted. Caution. Pull up. Trigger crashed. Trolling an idiot. Oh, no, Enemy reinforcements. Check your radars. on target.
speed, bearing 280. They're drones. These must be the infamous drones. They can dogfight without pilot? Machines are not replacing humans. Calm down. They're just obstacles in your way. Don't forget your original mission. It's bad enough just dealing with the surface, damn. Did the jailer know about the shitstorm he was sending us into? Penal units are just pawns. That lion son of a bitch. Don't pretend like you deserve any better. Continue with the operation. I'm not tipping you for that. That's job, Trigger. That's right. No way. I've shut down six. Bullshit. We're still on two. Hey, are you sure your radar's working right? This is spare seven. Shit! Someone get this enemy off my tail! I can't. I've got my hands full, too. I roll a missile. Take it off. <laughs> God damn it, I'm in! I'm still at the table! I roll a missile. Another one! I've got a bet on me getting out of this...
30 seconds remaining. You lost planes, but the mission succeeded. However, some of you crossed the return line for supplies and for repairs. This will result in solitary. Take them. 